What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 7 ways that pro players were beating the ever popular cross 3 fire style defense at the Madden Challenge tournament. In this tournament alone, Crossfire was called over 150 times, and that's not even including the off-stream games. So if you play Madden online at all, you will for sure be running into this defense, so it's very crucial to know how to effectively move the ball against it. Now real quick guys, leave a comment down below on what type of defense you would like to see this style of video done on in the future, and let's get to it. Now this first example here is going to be from the Kiv Hollywood matchup, that first game of the second group, and it's going to be the classic cover 3 one play touchdown bomb it deep here from Kiv out of the gun bunch to the right. And it's really even more telegraphed from a defensive standpoint as to which safety is going to be playing that deep third. In most cases, it's going to be the opposite safety from the linebacker that your opponent's trying to get in free. So in this case, obvious crossfire setup here as you can tell from that linebacker how he's creeped up to the line he's going to be trying to loop through basically this left side a gap and what this means is odds are this is going to be the safety right here that is tasked with guarding the deep third on that cover three shell so you have cornerback out there cornerback out there and the deep safety right there going to be trying to cover that middle third now the problem here is that kiv goes with the cover three beater from the gun bunch and you're going to see a fade right here from ty hilton and then an outside corner route on that corner strike setup that's going to distract the outside third cornerback ty hilton's going to get behind that safety that has zero shot of making up the ground as you can see right there the cornerback on the outside gets distracted by the corner route underneath the safety is never able to make up the ground and young kiv gets a nice 77 yard touchdown early in the second half against hollywood now the second example here from the same exact game, except now the roles are reversed. Hollywood on offense, Kiv on defense in a crossfire setup. And what you're going to see Hollywood's able to take advantage of here is especially the fact that Kiv is running a crossfire setup out of the 3-4 odd formation, which forces Kiv's outside linebackers to be the guys who are going to have to shoot out and defend the flats. And what you're going to see is this right flat defender is just not able to get out there fast enough Hollywood recognizes the setup, like I said, crossfire, very telegraphed. You can tell by the positioning of that looping linebacker right there. And what you're going to see Hollywood do is go with the smart routed out route. Kiv's defender on the outside, he knows, is dropping into a deep third, so he's not going to play it. The linebacker's not going to get out there fast enough into the flats. And it's going to be easy pitch and catch for Hollywood. And he's going to end up picking up the first down right here on second and seven to the outside to Jarvis Landry. Now this third example is also going to be from Hollywood except now he's playing against Dubby and it's also going to be taking advantage of the fact that those outside flat zone defenders don't quite get out there quick enough right here. Single back deuce close and the route you're going to see from Hollywood is this corner route right here being run on PA misdirection and now there's two things that go into this corner route. It's a really good corner route. It's the same one that you see out of a play like bunch trail out of gun bunch week that's really popular that corner routes very effective it's really really good when you get a guy there with over 91 route running as you're gonna see on this play he runs it very quickly and it's just tough for the defense to get out there in time and that's exactly what you're gonna see here from Jarvis Landry crossfire and you see how quickly he runs it now at this point that linebacker that's strafing underneath he has no shot at getting out there in time if Hollywood delivers a down and outside pass lead towards the sideline He's going to be able to cut this ball off in front of the cornerback on the outside third and that linebacker is just not going to have the lateral quickness to get out there and make a play on it. And that's exactly what you're going to see. The linebacker actually ends up biting down and Hollywood's still able to fit that corner route in in front of that outside cornerback right there for a nice gain. Now you've seen three examples through the air and now this fourth one's actually going to be on the ground. So Kiv on offense against Dubby and if you look at Dubby's defense you notice it's very balanced right. He's got five guys. One, two, three, four, five on the left side of the ball, and five guys on the right side of the ball with the nose tackle head up on the center. So five on each side. Now Kiv knows he's got the number advantage. He's got three receivers to the right, one to the left. And what you know out of this crossfire style defense is that this linebacker right here is actually going to be looping into the left. So he's going to be essentially running himself out of this play. And what you're going to see, Kiv goes with the HP base out of the gun bunch here. And that's exactly what's going to happen. That linebacker runs himself out of the play. Look at the huge hole Kiv has right here with the numbers advantage. And what you're going to see is all it takes is one bad user play right there from Dubby. Missed the hit stick and Kiv takes it 55 yards to the house with Chris Thompson to go up by 14 points. 
Now what you're going to see in this example from Drini on offense against Kiv is that most people when they run this crossfire style of defense, they delegate the entire middle of the field to their user defender, right? It's a three deep shell, usually they rush four or five, you got flat zones on the outside, so a lot of people just rely on their straight user skill to user the middle. Now right here, Drini, gun trio offset had been hammering Kiv with the inside zone out of this formation and Drini's actually going to make very good use out of the play action on this play. As you're going to see, Kiv's user shoots to the left because he has to respect the inside zone play fake right here. So Kiv's user shoots to the left and what you're going to see because of the fact that he's the only player that's delegated over this middle part of the field right here and he has to respect the inside zone as a user defender, he's forced to essentially over pursue and Drini's going to go ahead and hit the quick crosser over the middle possession catch to avoid the big hit and that's a 14 yard first down right there for Drini. Now this next example is going to be from Spoto against Drini on offense here and of course corner strike had to get worked into this video somehow. Now when a lot of people run these crossfire style defenses they'll rush five drop six. It's a three deep shell so that leaves you three defenders underneath to play with and what a lot of people will do obviously one of those defenders is your user. A lot of people will drop one into a flat zone and then people like to leave that three receiver hook zone over the middle of the field just because it plays really well this year it can play very aggressively over the middle and it's a nice thing to have but when you play like that you put your outside flat zone defenders into an opportunity to get put into a high low situation and that's exactly what you're going to see from Spoto here and corner strike is perfect for this play because in this case actually you see Spoto doesn't even pick up the blitz the linebacker comes looping in the blitz functions just how you want it to function but corner strike is such a quick read in this case on the outside, Spoto is just reading this outside defender right here on the edge of the player cam. He plays down really aggressively on the flat route. Spoto goes ahead, hits the corner route right behind it for an easy gain and a first down right there for 15 yards. Now this final example is going to be from Kiv on offense against Dubby. And it's very similar to what Drini did to Kiv with the play action. It's taking advantage of the fact that your opponent delegates the entire middle of the field to his user defender and taking advantage of basically making him make a decision and then play off of whatever he does. So right here what you're going to see from Kiv goes with a 5-1-8 hook play out of the gun bunch motions over a slant route so this puts Dubby in basically a no win situation at this point he has to honor the slant route he basically has to carry this slant until it reaches this outside zone defender so that's what you're going to see Dubby do but in this case Kiv has the perfect counter he goes with this deep post route being run by a receiver I believe it's Keenan Allen with that 91 plus route running threshold so he's going to run this route very quickly and cross over the middle of the field he has a clear out streak on the right side of the field it looks like Dubby manned one defender up but he's, his purpose is basically carry that deep third on the right side down the field and open up that post route underneath it and that's what you're going to see Dubby carries the slant route and peels off of it very well he plays this about as perfectly as you can play it just by virtue of the fact that he had to carry that slant route and he's using a linebacker that's not going to be able to keep up across the entire field with that wide receiver. Kiv delivers an absolute dime, ends up putting him in field goal range and it's going to allow him to take a three possession lead into halftime in that group stage match. So that's going to be it on this video guys on the seven examples of how the pro players attack the crossfire style defense in the Madden Challenge Tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something and that this video obviously helped you guys out and helps improve your own game. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, take it easy.